they have made millions and millions of dollars scaring us. We humans love to be thrilled. We love roller coasters, going into haunted houses, cemeteries unwillingly, um, so on and so forth. We like the thrill. We, we do um, bungee jumping, we'll skydive. We humans love to get excited. So knowing that, and this is the vision and I'm going to stick with it because when I said this, because I asked someone, have you had a haunted encounter? Have you had an encounter where it has grabbed your memory and it stays there and, and you tell everybody the same repetitive story and no one's taking your ghost story away? No one, because I was the same way. I was like, this is a ghost story. Uh, we were stuck sitting down in, our, in, our, in this, actually, this room on our sofas, frozen. For a moment, I don't know how long, and we felt this like hot presence. And you know, thinking back again, it's their weaponry. They're you know, the angels. They give me a vision, and this vision is soldiers in a country where uh, it, it's unknown. It, there's a disease. They need to get into this building, and they have this. They have their weaponry where they can open doors with air. And hold a door too. How do I know this? I this is the vision that I could I be wrong? I don't believe I am. I don't believe I am. They they have uh, weaponry that for the enemy to be distracted, whether to hit him. Uh, oh, there's an invisible man, just like the virus, an invisible man. There's an invisible man touching me in the room. This is something they do so when they saw that they escalated they, they they took that and they rode with it and whoever bit this bait is considered because you see it on youtube it's norm all oh, the norm you could tell ghost stories you could tell paranormal stories you could tell it pretty much you could build your website or all around paranormal activity if you're a target individual and I'm not talking to you gang stalkers because, you know, y'all, y'all, I'm, that's it. I'm done with y'all. But I'm talking to the ones that feel that you are being haunted, that you feel that your house, oh my God, uh, uh, we've had so many paranormal experiences, including pictures with the big bright light. Okay, that's military device. Of course, they're, they're targeting me now, but, you know, again, this is a beautiful element here please guys they did not tell them that okay isis does wonders okay so i don't want to rain on your parade that you you have this what they call a voice box is that what is it? it's called ghost box voice box I, I get it wrong i don't have one if you download a free app it, it's considered a ghost app on ipad that app claims that it's EMF, radio, EMF meter. So why is an EMF reader related to a ghost app? Because it's the same bullshit. They're hiding the EMF and people think that, oh, this is a ghost app. I bought a meter for a ghost app and it's, oh, the meter's going up. It's a radi, they're hitting you with radiation. You think it's a ghost. It's not a ghost. It's radiation being hit at you. At the same time that you think that you're being um, haunted. Hey, look, this is, I like, just like Cuomo, I like facts and I like <laughs> truth. And the truth of the matter is, even on Ghostbusters, simple, very a uh, movie that, hey, everybody's watched, right? Common questions you ask someone that's had a ghost encounter. These are doctors. He said he has a PhD. Have you, you or your family, anyone in your family have been diagnosed with schizophrenia? Why? Because that's what they look at people that say they have ghost encounters, that you're a schizo. It's just like the, the way they said Mulgellans is the itchy skin. That's another story. Same thing. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it for you. I, I want to tell you to put 
change your locks. I want to tell you that. I want to tell you not to move. I want to tell you to, if you feel like your door opened in the middle of the night while you're laying in bed, it did. They have the keys. It's not a ghost encounter. They have keys to a lot of houses. That's the way it goes. Well, I love you guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to make sense out of it, right? This is exactly what it is. They'll make millions out of it. They're going to continue. And if, as long as you go and buy that haunted doll, you, just like I did, bit into that game. And you know what? No, it's it's their machinery. They could actually give you a ghostly encounter with whatever distraction they want. They it's it's advanced technology. They keep bragging about it, right? Okay. Just like they said, oh, it's it's the cell towers. How could you blame the guys burning the cell towers? They told us it was the cell towers, right? No, it's not the cell towers. It's right in their hands. It's the guy walking by. It's the guy in the car. It's the guy, the garbage truck guys. It's in their engines. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to go to their house because it's pointing at us at their house. So, you know, all that patent stuff. Oh, the military patent stuff. They patent all their guns and all their weaponry. It's patent. Ooh. You could patent a pencil. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to, like, do not believe the hype. It's there for you and I to bite. And then when you share a story, it's like, oh, you should go check your head. Seriously, that's what they want you all to do. They Please believe, believe in what I'm saying. It's going to make sense. It's just like hearing a noise when you're in a shower. And I know a lot of target individuals, you all went through this. You hear a noise, you come out the shower... And ain't nobody. Or you're asleep. And these gang stalkers, they're sons of bitches. You hear a door slam. Boom. You get up out of your bed, like I have. And I called my husband. I said, were you just here? And he goes, I've been at work for two hours. What are you talking about? I said, okay. They're assholes. They'll make you feel that, oh my God, I'm having a ghostly encounter and they just slam the door because they tampered with your food. I would throw up all the food. I would change all my locks. I would look up the best locks that you can have. If you live in an apartment, I would lock your refrigerator and your food cabinetry. What would, what's in your bedroom? What's your landlord going to say about that? Look, again... I don't want to drag this, but I will. I'll be back.